In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your own pattern line. So pattern line can be found inside the drawing editor. So under the line, you can see the pattern line. Just simply press shift key and then click the pattern line. And then it will open to the pattern line properties and then you can select a different uh, pattern line. So as you notice here, there are some default or um, uh, sample pattern line available in in Tecla structure so just simply apply and then just pick one point two point and then middle bottom of your mouse and then you can see here the pattern line so you will notice that you have the start and then the uh, the content and also you can see the end is also using this arrow so I'm going, I'm going to show you how to uh, create that uh, kind of pattern later, okay? Then uh, let's try to uh, check other example. Let's say uh, hidden site, modify. So these are the hidden site, T hidden site, and then maybe some other uh, uh, insulation, modify. So this is a sample uh, insulation, all right? Okay, uh, now, now that you see what is this uh, pattern line properties, so we're going to start creating our own pattern line. The first thing to do is you need to go to the editor, file, editor, and then look for the symbol editor. So run the symbol editor. So. Uh, the sample or the, the user-defined uh, line that we're going to do now is a zigzag line which is not available in our pattern line at the moment. So what you can do here in the symbol editor is you need to uh, open the uh, pattern line uh, symbol that you can find inside our uh, Tecla structure common symbols. So from the common symbols Look for the pattern line here. Yeah, pattern line symbols. Click open. So as you notice, these are the pattern lines that uh, that is available in in our uh, drawing. So now what we can do is we can create our own pattern line. So I have created one here. This uh, zigzag line. Uh, which is not available in the default uh, pattern in the drawing. So to do this one, actually, uh, it's simple. All I have to do is this. You have to go to this polyline. Click here, one. And then two box by three box. And then two and then three here. Okay. Just double click and then end command. Okay, so all I have to do is to copy this one, copy and then paste and then select and then move that one here to three. All right, and then copy and then paste. Sorry, paste paste and there you go so you have now the a zigzag uh, line here so we have to save this one now remember that one is under the pattern line symbol editor okay or pattern line symbol that sym all right close it now, enable for us to call that symbol inside our pattern line properties. All we have to do is go back to our editors and then under the editors, you will find the pattern line editor. Open it. All right, there you go. So under this open line editor, as you can see here, we have some pattern line interface, create new. I can just simply type here a uh, uh, zigzag line 
zig zigzag line or zigzag zigzag line and then save so again as you can see here you can specify your start and end element but at this time i'm not going to put any start and end element all i have to do is to call that zigzag inside our continuous repeating and continuous element uh, at the moment you have the uh, you have a uh, sample line and symbol here all you have to do is delete all all right and then create new so under the new you can see again you can choose the line or spacing or symbol so this time i'm going to use symbol because i already created a symbol line symbol for our line or our pattern and then expand this one so all you have to do is to go to this file select the pattern line symbol and that pattern line symbol select and actually that one is in the number 23 so just simply click on that one so i have this number 23 and then the spacing will be 10 and then 10 and then this one will be fixed okay so all, I, all you have to do is save and then say yes and then exit so now we need to find that zigzag in the uh, pattern line properties so we need to close the drawing okay and then open it again So from here, just simply double click on it and then select the zigzag line here. This one is the new pattern line and then modify and there you go. So these are the zigzag line or uh, some other user, they, they use this one for their rough surfaces. So if I may go back again to my line here, pattern line, so I can click one, two, three, four, five, and then middle button of your mouse. And then you're going to have a zigzag line. Okay. Now, uh, as I've mentioned to you earlier, you can specify your end and start or start and end uh, element here. At the moment, I have a uh, blank here but that, that's fine because uh, what you can what uh, you can do is also use it on the opening also if you like modify all right so this is how you create your own pattern line in tecla structure Thank you.